Hi guys, welcome to my first YouTube video. My dad gifted me a camera and it's been laying around in the corner of my room for months. So I thought to myself, I have to use the full potential of this camera, so let's film a YouTube video. Being the med student that I am, what could be a better first video than talking about my studies? So yeah, let's get started. So I was born in Germany, but when I was 18, I moved to Romania to study here. And now you probably ask yourself, why would you move to Romania to study when you were living in Germany, where the education is really good? So I came to Romania to study medicine here because of multiple reasons. One of the main reasons is because it's really hard to get into medicine in Germany. You literally have to have a perfect final degree and even with that no one can guarantee you that you're going to get into medicine directly there is also like a medical test that you can do in germany which you also have to pass really 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 good and i'm the type of person i don't want to waste my time i don't want to risk waiting maybe two or three years so that's why i decided to study abroad I chose Romania because I have an older sister and she also came to Romania so she was able to help me a lot when I first came here I'm currently in the third year, so I can already tell you guys a lot of things about Romania and the studies. All right, so now I'm going to tell you something in general about studying medicine in Romania. There's a lot of different universities. The annual fee for the university ranges from 4,950 euros to approximately 8,500 euros. And what's also good about Romania is that the general living cost is not that high compared to other European countries. Of course, the degree is worldwide accepted, but you have to keep in mind that if you, for, for example, from North Africa, you come here to study and then you want to work in Germany, you will have to do a medical test in Germany. But because I'm already a German citizen, I will not have to do a medical test. I will just finish my studies and then I can go work in Germany. Some universities require an entrance exam, some don't. Some care if you took biology and chemistry in your final years of high school and others don't care. It totally depends on the university. But when I say care about your grades, I don't mean that you have to have the best grades possible. If you want to go to a university where there's kind of more competition, like for example in Bucharest and the bigger cities, they're gonna prefer people who have better grades. But usually most of them just want you to have the highest possible degree in your country. For example, in Germany, it's the Abitur. They just want you to have it. The grade doesn't matter, usually. I will put you a link in the description where you can read the main facts about every university. But make sure to just check out the university's websites because there you will find the most detailed information and everything you need to know. And also, if the university where you want to study requires an entrance exam, don't panic because keep in mind, there's not a lot of competition here. Just stay calm. All right, let's say you chose your university. You went onto the website, you checked out which requirements they have for you to be able to apply there. What's next? Next, you will have to make sure to collect all your documents and the date where they want to have all of your documents is usually like at the end of August, but it depends. They require documents like your final grades from high school. They required the grades from ninth grade until 12th grade for me. A certificate from my family doctor in Germany that I am mentally and physically able to study medicine. Of course, like a passport copy, some pictures of yourself. Keep in mind that they want all documents translated to Romanian and that will cost you a little bit of money. I don't remember exactly how much I paid for my translations, but I think it was approximately 5 to 10 euros per document. They also want an apostle for every official document that you're going to send to them. For example, your final high school diploma, you will have to get an apostle for it first and then you will have to translate it also. For the postal, if I remembered right, I paid 15 euro per document. Like I said, I had to send them all of my final high school grades from 9th grade until 12th grade. There's two per year. That's gonna be 9th grade 2, 10th grade 2, 11th grade, 12th grade. So eight documents that you have to translate eight times that you will have to get an apostle for eight times. And it also goes like that for your birth certificate. There's also agencies who do all this document stuff for you. They collect the documents for you. They do the apostle stuff for you, but they obviously cost more than if you would just do it yourself. Prices for agencies start at 1,500 euros. I applied for two universities at the same time in case if I would not get accepted in one of them. One of the universities where I applied, they wanted all these documents just one time. And the other one where I applied, they wanted all the documents two times. Don't ask me why, but basically I had to get everything three times. I paid around 900 or 800 euro to apply for two universities at the same time. But if you just apply for one university, I think you would pay approximately 500 euros. All right, let's say that you picked your university 
We've got all the documents, translated everything, and you send them your documents. Then they will want you to pay a processing fee, which is usually around like 100 euro. After a few weeks, they will either confirm that you got accepted or that you're not accepted. When you get accepted, you directly have to pay the first annual fee. Next, you will have to find an apartment. This seems really scary, especially like the thought of going to a new country where you don't know the language. Maybe you can't even go with your parents, so you're going to be all alone. But don't worry, it's not as hard and scary as it might seem. I know a lot of people who came to Romania all alone and they still made it because you're going to find friends. Everyone's new here, so don't be afraid of that. I already said in the beginning that living in Romania is generally cheaper compared to other European countries, but that still depends on where you're going to live, of course. If you're going to live in Bucharest, you're going to pay more rent than if you were gonna live in a smaller city like for example Timisoara or Arad. I would say that if you live in a smaller city you will approximately need at least 500 euro per month for rent, food, like everything. The rent in smaller cities usually starts at around 250 euros. If you want to study in Cluj you will probably pay 700 to 900 euros per month. There's a lot of websites where you can find apartments. Most people in Romania don't speak English very well but you will find a way to communicate with them for example with Google Translate. And if you visit apartments with an agency, they're going to be able to speak English 100%. The last step is that you will have to get a so-called permis de cedere, which is basically a certificate that you are allowed to stay in Romania for longer than 90 days. And that's it. I know it sounds like a lot, but I promise you it's manageable. Let's talk about the last topic. How do I like it in Romania so far? Would I recommend it to others? Personally, I think if you have the opportunity to come here and you really want to study medicine, but it's hard for you to get into university in your home country, I would definitely recommend you to study medicine in Romania. Of course, it's going to be hard in the beginning. It's a new country. You don't know the language. You don't have any friends but everything comes with the time. There's people from all around the world. You will have friends from every country. You will improve your English and you will definitely learn to be more independent. In my opinion, Romania is also a really safe country. Obviously, this depends also on whether you live in bigger cities or in smaller cities. You will also get to know a whole new culture. If you have any more questions, feel free to ask them in the comments. I will answer everything. Check out the links in the description if you want to read more about this topic. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to see more videos. And yeah, see you next time.